Hello all, welcome to Money Text Group. In this video, we are going to learn about how to calculate the width of a weft knitted fabric using Wales per inch. To calculate the width, we need two data. Number one, number of needles in the knitting machine, and number two, it is already there in the question, Wales per inch. How to calculate the number of needles in a knitting machine? We all know that the knitting machine, the knitting needles are arranged in a circular manner. To calculate the number of needles in the knitting machine, we can use the formula either pi d or 2 pi r. It's nothing but circumference of the circle. Number of needles, pi d. Pi is nothing but 3.14. D, the knit dia. In which dia we are going to knit the fabric? Either 24 dia, 26 dia, 28 dia, 30 dia, 34 dia, whatever may be the dia. Based on the knit dia increases, the width increases. So we need to know even the knit dia in which in which dia we are going to knit the fabric. And since we need the number of needles, we need to include gauge as well. What is gauge? Gauge is number of needles per inch. So by just by multiplying 3.14 into knit dia into gauge we can get the number of needles in the knitting machine. And number two, the second data is wells per inch. That data we can get it by using a magnifying magnification glass. Before understanding the concept, we need to understand the logic behind this, how we can able to calculate the width by using the wells per inch. So that by understanding the logic, we can keep the concept in mind for a longer run. Let's understand the logic first. Okay. Let us consider a miniature cylinder. And it has a 10 needles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we all know each and every needle will form a loop. Now, each and every needle in the miniature cylinder has miniature miniature cylinder with needles has formed a knitted fabric. It's in tubular form. Now we are going to slit. Now we are going to slit the fabric to make it open width. This is the open width fabric that we got knitted here in the miniature cylinder with using 10 needles. The fabric is in open width form. By using magnifying glass we are going to calculate the wells per inch with the magnification glass we have approximately found there are three loops in the one inch so if there is three loops in one inch so 10 loops will be in how many inch so first three one inch the next three second inch the next three third inch and fourth one that is one third that is nothing but 3.34. We can easily calculate this using the number of loops or the number of needles in the knitting machine. We have 10. And number of loops in an inch per inch, wells per inch is 3. So we will get 3.34 inches. This is the logic behind this concept for calculating the fabric width using wells per inch. Let us have a small example. This is the data. This is the three data that I got it from a 30s jersey fabric. Okay. The gauge which the, the fabric is knitted is 24 gauge and the fabric is knitted in 30 dia and I got the wells per inch 36. So fabric width can be calculated using the same formula what we have applied in our logic 3.14 into gauge the number of needles per inch and knit dia in which dia we have knitted this fabric we are just applying these data in the formula and the wells per inch 3.14 gauge is 24 and knit dia is 30 
it is whole divided by 36 that is the wells per inch 3.14 into 24 into 30 is nothing but uh, double to 2261 needles divided by 36 we got 62.80 inches it's nothing but 63 inches if we need a 30 jersey fabric in a 30 dia we'll get 63 inches this is how we can calculate the width of the fabric in a very easiest manner but the accuracy of this methodology is limited to 95 percent the reason behind this is just since the since we are calculating the width of the fabric in open width just consider this is a open width fabric during finishing we used to stretch the fabrics in both the selvages okay so there will be difference in stress when compared to middle of the fabric the stress will be more so the veil spacing between one veil to another veil will be slightly more when compared to the veil spacing at the selvages it will be slightly different it differs slightly the difference will not be uh, much may not will not be more than uh, uh, 0.5 wells to one well the difference will be slightly less but there will be a difference if we check the wells per inch in the middle of the fabric and if we check the wells per inch in the selvages there will be a slight difference just because of this slight difference in the wells per inch the answer the results will vary so i cannot give 100 percent accuracy for this methodology but we can use this methodology for costing purpose or at, at no case we need to we need to understand what is the width of the fabric so in those exceptional cases we can apply this methodology for calculating the fabric width i hope this video is very useful and informative thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe the channels thank you See you all in the next video. Till then, bye from your money textbook. Bye-bye.